Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today your girl finally got her hair done after a very, very, very long time. I went to my favorite hair salon, Curls One on One in Beverly Hills and just like that they are now booked for the rest of the year. They're already booked until April so if you're just seeing this now, good luck getting an appointment. But they are just that good. They snuck me in to touch up my color that has been way overdue and I got a light, a light trim. Not even a trim, but dusting. So I'm gonna show you what dusting is when you dust your curls. And I'm gonna show you how I got my roots touched up to get this new beautiful color without damaging my curls. Now today's video is sponsored by Curlsmith. If you guys know about my favorite hair salon, you might be thinking like, mm, those aren't the products that they usually have in there true but i brought my own products with me because i mean it's your hair you could have your stylist use whatever you want okay you're paying them so i wanted them to try these products because obviously you guys know i love curl smith so i brought the new vivid tones vibrancy shampoo and the glow perfecting conditioner this is one of their newer lines and many people think that it's just for color treated hair but it's actually for all hair types. It's just really good on making your color extra vibrant if you do have color treated hair. So since I am getting my highlights done, I wanted to use some very color safe products. And then I also brought the Curlsmith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly to style. So without further ado, let's hop in the car and head to the salon so I can show you exactly how they cut and colored my hair. All right, so I'm just going to get some light dusting today, which is just the very ends of my curls, so it's not too dead at the bottom. <laughs> so can you show how much we're cutting off, Jonathan? Just a little bit. Literally, we're just dusting the ends. We're just taking off what we need to take off. And this will make it like look healthier, easier to detangle, right? Especially the detangling, because yeah. everybody complains about detangling when they need a haircut. Yes. <laughs> So we'll show you on the floor after this, but it's going to be just a little bit, but still keeping my length for the hair growth challenge. volume it's gonna be so much easier yeah. to detangle and now we're gonna move on to color so I don't want to go too blonde mm -hmm. but I just want it to look obviously more even like all oh, this has grown out so all you want you want to bring here. these pieces all the way up right yeah but I don't want to go straight to the root I kind of want to melt your hair with color yeah, you instead of just right. yeah doing color yeah we're gonna bring it up a little bit but like I'm gonna just Especially around the hairline, we're gonna make things just more melted than just color. Yeah, Bianca, you take such amazing care of your hair. Thank you. I passed, guys. <laughs> so this is my like day three hair. I didn't add any product in my hair today. I just had some gel yesterday, and I just refreshed with some water. So that way, when you feels really light, I love it. Yeah, so it's nice and light. When you get it cut, your hair's not like hard and crunchy. So just a nice refresh is a good way to come into the salon. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yes, guys, take notes. She <laughs> is right about that. Not too much products, very light products, so Donatella can get to see your curls and see how she's supposed to cut them. Okay, so now we're not applying the color to a bunch of products. <laughs> and, and color as well. It really helps that your hair is as light as possible.
Now it's time to wash out my color. Usually when you get highlights or color in your hair, the best thing to do after when you're getting a light color is to wash your hair with a blue or purple shampoo. A blue or purple shampoo is going to combat any brassiness, so your blonde is like a pretty blonde, but not like a harsh, brassy orange. Now it's time to cleanse my hair using the Curlsmith Color Recipe Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo. This is a mild, gentle cleanser that has lemon peel oil, dandelion petals, squeezed pineapple, and smells amazing. For my conditioner, we're using the Curlsmith Color Recipe Glow Perfecting Conditioner, which is made to enhance color, detangle, smooth, vibrance, and shine. It has watermelon seed, beetroot juice, shea butter mash, I'm talking vegan, organic, cruelty-free products. And now my favorite part, the styling. This is the Curlsmith Scalp Recipe Hydro Style Flexi Jelly, which is a level seven in the hold department when it comes to gel with good hold. This is one of my favorite gels. It has hyaluronic acid, so it's gonna give you that moisture. It has organic lavender. It's made for curly or wavy hair. It's a medium hold, lightweight, and gives you beautiful definition. Now it's time to diffuse. You will see that they did add some clips to my roots to keep my roots up so they're not too flat on my head to give me some more volume. But now the dynamic duo, Donatella and Ezzy, are going to diffuse and pick out my hair and divide my curls to give me some more volume. Oh, so much better. Yay, thank you. You're welcome. I can't see it, but I'm smiling really big right now. <laughs> The final look. It looks so amazing. This is my, I think day two hair, so it looks even better than day one. I'm loving the like very light brown caramel color instead of too blonde. And it's blended nicely to where even if my hair does grow out, it's not gonna be like a big, ugly chunk of new growth and then color. So she always blends it beautifully. I'm so happy with it. I still have my length, as you can see, but I do have a much nicer shape instead of it just being kind of wonky. But I did enjoy using the Curlsmith products. I'm really hoping that they make larger sizes so that they can be in salons because they use a lot of product in that salon. But you guys wanna check out these for yourself. These are available on the Curlsmith website or at Ulta Beauty. And fun little fact that I've been meaning to tell you guys, did you know that on the back of every Curlsmith product, they have a Bible verse on there? Ah, secret Jesus sprinkled on your products. No wonder these always look amazing. And let me just read one for you because they also were really, really, really clever with the ones that they put on the bottle. So for example, this is their shampoo, right? So it says Psalms 51.2, which reads, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Cleanse shampoo. The conditioner says Job 37.11, which reads, he loads the clouds with moisture. He scatters his lightning through them. So clever. I love it. If I didn't love these products enough, now I love them even more. So whenever you are applying these products, just know that Jesus is with you, especially when you do the praying hands to apply the gel. If you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.